Are you a medical expert in gender transitioning? I am a medical doctor who's in the trenches, helping families with children who believe their bodies are terrible mistakes. This is between a doctor and a patient, and it's none of your business. My patients have gender dysphoria. They are dissociated from their bodies. They have trauma, depression, anxiety, autism, eating disorders, and other mental health problems. Their suffering is intense, and they are convinced that relief will come only from testosterone shots, estrogen patches, and a surgeon's scalpel. Society and John and everyone here listening needs to trust the medical system that the people in charge, not the people in charge, yes, the, um, the medical professionals that are in the room with the parent and the child know what they're doing and it is an extremely individual, personal, private, uh, intimate uh, interaction and decision. There is no high quality evidence that gender affirming care leads to long-term positive outcomes or decreased suicides, while there is conclusive evidence of serious harm and lifelong suffering. Society needs to trust the medical system. And since doctors gave up performing lobotomies to treat psychiatric disorders many decades ago, gender dysphoria is the only psychiatric diagnosis which doctors are attempting to treat by surgery. And this, the plastics and surgeons got to, you know, amongst themselves decided, no, we, we've looked at the science. It's blatantly not there to support removing healthy organs and trying to trans, you know, transform a body to the appearance of the opposite sex than from the biologic sex. And so they just stood up and said, um, you know, there's no science. We're not gonna, we're not gonna endorse this anymore. Needs to trust the medical system it's not based on fact, uh, it's based on hopes and whims, and it's experimental to do these things to children.